And before I even check my email this morning, before I even fix my hair, getting out the shower, I know someone who doesn't take shower. Actually, I know two people, but one of them's an adult. I gotta get. I mean, how clear is it to you? What is? How clear is it that Donald Trump is? Riding Vladimir Putin. Is it clear to you that they got something on him that is so good they could tell him get out of Turkey? Can can you imagine the kind of we need help? Okay, our government needs help. We need help before we totally. I mean, I think it's too late anyway. There's nothing that nobody's going to do. We're going to keep on with this nonsense with politics and until it's, until it's, it's over. Um, not saying that Donald Trump is antichrist, but I bet you he knows him. history of this country, as far as I know, to condition security assistance on a personal... But I'm telling you, because... My church has made one thing clear to me, not by their words, but pretty much it's, um, you know, what does, how does this affect me and what does this have to do with me and should I, of course you shouldn't worry about it, number one, we're not afraid of anything. Number two, it affects us because it is us, because it's our fault, okay? Um, it's too late now. It's too late. You can't vote in another president. The, the most authority that we were given on this planet was our vote, our right to vote by God. Um, Israel chose, I'm pretty sure that the first king was chosen democratically. So, that's a good, I haven't thought about that in years, actually. Never probably even you know, matter to me, but, and then it was over, it was over, said, you want a king, I'll give you a king, fine, it wasn't a, a good thing, so, because of my work in the television our king, world, it requires me to be in LA for six months at a time, and Airbnb provides me with that home, our king is absolutely 100%. Maybe he might not be out of his mind. I mean, he's getting away with it, ain't he? But we got, I don't know how many millions, millions, millions of Anabaptists in this country. And, well, they took the vote away from the felons. I can't vote. Um, people on probation, there was a woman arrested not too long ago and, and got jail time for voting while on probation. Um, I just have to say this, that it's too late. It's too late. Don't even start thinking about trying to vote in a president who's filled with the Holy Spirit. You know, we, we couldn't do that. We couldn't vote in a president who becomes a Christian overnight. And all of you fell for it. That's the problem. How did you believe that for one second when we already knew the kind of filth that he was involved in to begin with? But it was like this man had some kind of fairy power over everyone. And um, not everyone, but just enough of, of you for, for you to vote for him. Wow. We handed Turkey over to uh, to Russia. I mean, Syria. We, we, we let them in. Vladimir said, Get out, Donald. I got something I want to do there. You know, I want to go meet my sister. She lived there. I knew it, no problem. So we moved out. Congratulations. I'm not saying that I either... Um, 
I'm not on either side. The Kurds, Turkeys, none of it. I'm not on any of side. I can say that it takes a low-down pussy to strap a bomb on in the morning and um, go blow up a bunch of kids on a school bus or, or you know, uh, an old man in his uh, grocery store opening up for the day or someone at a baklava stand, you know. Um, you're straight, you're a coward of the worst type, you know. Um, all you do is sit in there with your, your, your AK-47s yelling out, um, I got some really bad news for you too, man. You, you look. Let me get into this now. Let me just. I'm not going to show you any of the books. I'm not going to get out my dictionary. I'm not going to Google Trump on my other phone to show you because I have no idea how to do it here. But look up the word Allah. Anyone who knows where that word was formed. It came for Allah, okay? Now, we who know, know that this was a female deity. One of the 430, now numbers were always my problem, but yes, I've done the research. That were found in, on the supposed altar where Abraham um, went to sacrifice Ishmael. No, 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 no. That's the dome. That's where. All right, anyway. But uh, this was an altar supposedly built by Abraham, and they had built a, uh, an encasement around it, and then they started placing their idols there, and I believe there were 430 idols, which um, I'm pretty sure what Mecca they got, that building in Mecca is now. And uh, I'd love to see what's in there. Love to. Anyway, um... The name was shortened to Allah, and look at the look at the origins of the word in Hebrew, please. Do take some time and look it up. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not attacking it, but I can tell you this: that it does not mean the word God. It does not mean God. That's what they transformed it into the meaning. It's the same way with um, Christmas. Does Christmas have anything to do with Christ whatsoever? Anything? Can you, can you tell me that? It's the same thing. Just because you put a sticker on something doesn't change its... You know, we put parental advisory stickers on the CDs and whatever. Did it change the contents any? Absolutely not. You just had a warning that that, there, that content was in there. Well, for better or for worse, the bottom line is, and, you know, I was quite frankly a little afraid to say this myself, but the word Allah does not mean God. So, um, Akbar might mean great, but Allah does not mean God. I heard a, a, a Christian pastor preaching, you know, one time, and he got very upset with me. I, I did storm out. I was severely mentally ill, but preaching about um, Muhammad Ali and you know, what a great man he was. And all. Muhammad Ali, if, if he didn't cry out to Christ at the last minute, he's in hell right now for all his good deeds. And it doesn't matter. You can make as many, you can do whatever you want. But if you ain't got the blood covering you, you're going to hell. There's just no other possibility. There's no other way. Investigated it, been there and done that. There's some beliefs that are so ridiculous they don't even require investigation. They don't warrant an investigation, such as, you know, Buddhism. Uh, and I'm talking about the major belief systems on this planet. I don't believe in conventional Christianity either. Because only this fact, you've closed your minds to the possibilities of God. You made it so that you made it so that God is in this box here, and these are the things that God can do, and uh, that's it. 
there's no other, there's nothing outside of that. It's not possible that he's impossibly greater than we can think of, than we can imagine. It's not even a matter of knowing God, because quite frankly, you can't. You can know what we can be taught of God, because we certainly have been taught. But you certainly can't know God in this body, with this mind. I'm going yard sailing. Ricky? Yo, what was his name? His name was Ricky Ricardo. Wasn't it? From the Lucy show? Don't go to hell, man. Cry out to Jesus Christ before it's too late. Yeah. But I am not a conventional Christian. I've not been brainwashed. No one I can't, could teach me anything because I was so rebellious. But I can tell you this. Hell is very real. I can't explain God. Don't ask me where he came from. It just said that he was. In the beginning he was. Maybe that's all as an explanation that our minds can understand. Because you know that we're, we're, our minds are very um, limited. We're as limited as we can be. What does a trillion IQ look like? Yeah, an IQ of a trillion. It's not possible to us. But there's definitely something going on. No matter what it is, it has to do with Christ's return. If you don't have to believe in Christ, but you won't have to bow down your knee. You'll believe in that day. Many of you will be sorry. Many of you will rejoice. I plan on rejoicing. Please just think about it. Think, put all the things that I've said together, I mean, as a puzzle, you know, the possibility of evolution, the um, existence of, now this is, not, you know, uh, our own government finally coming out and admitting that, yeah, UFOs were real, that's exactly what they were chasing, um, in, 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 I don't know what they're, phantom, whatever, jets we were flying for, uh, for the Air Force chasing that UFO, they came out, yes, it's absolutely positively real. Yes, they're chasing it, yes, it disappeared. Going straight up, two seconds, gone, with no propulsion. Yes, they finally admit it's real. And so, um, Now what? Build a space force. So, we're building a space force. Where are they building this space force? And who's building the space force? I got no idea, but you don't believe me? Look it up. <laughs>